Just how I say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. It's Janessa Chanel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yeah. Say welcome back to Mommy's YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, I tell you, Mommy. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, so this is my son, Josiah Bernard. And today I am going to be... Okay, so you're not going to let me talk? Today's video is going to be about... It's going to be... Okay, today's video is going to be about my teen mom journey. And I'm going to give some teen mom tips for y'all, you know, for the teen mothers out there. You know, because my son is already two. And I just want to let you know, like, how my journey been and everything. And how I dealt with this, dealt with everything. Dealt with having this little boy right here. He's a little pain in the ass, but I love him. Say, say to the camera, say, I'm the cutest. I'm cutest. All right. Well, I don't even know if I could talk with him right here because he's not letting me talk. He's talking too much. Why are you talking so much? Like, I'm trying to do a video for the people and they're not going to be able to hear me because you're talking over me. <laughs> You're so cute. Say bye, everybody. Cause bye, mommy and I gonna talk. Bye. 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 You're gonna see me in more bye. videos. Say go mwah, mwah. Okay, my son wasn't letting me talk, so you know I had to put him over there and come back so I could do the video for y'all, so y'all could hear me. Cause every time I talk, he wanna talk over me. Yeah. But let's start off when I first got pregnant. When I first got pregnant, I was 16, turning 17. And it was my sophomore year of high school. And my son was planned. Yeah, he was planned. I know. I was bugging out. But you know, it's okay. Um, my son is a blessing. And I'm happy that I had him because I would have never accomplished everything I did if it wasn't for him. I love him. That's my everything. That's my heart. But anyways, let's keep going. You know, let me not get, let me not get in my bag. Let me not get in my feelings. But anyways, when I found that I was pregnant, I didn't. I only told one person, and I don't even like talk to that person anymore. But my sisters found out. Like my sisters didn't find out. My sisters just knew, and they told my mom, and it was a big commotion. My family, like they were, it was just like you know. next <laughs> anyways when i was pregnant i was still going to school i was still like doing my shit i was on my school shit except at the beginning when i first got pregnant i was like really tired and i was always like sleepy sometimes i wouldn't i couldn't wake up for school and then some days i would go to school really late i would miss like first and second period but after like i started like my belly was got big and i started being on my school shit i started going to school like a lot every day every day i started going to school i started going early i started going all day early that i had to sit in front of the class door to wait for the teacher to come because i was like you know i needed to graduate and my goal was to graduate high school in three years and that's exactly what i did you know my son was my motivation and that's why i'm happy like i'm happy that you know i did everything that i did for him i did everything that i did for him yeah and I'm proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself. My graduation picture even went viral. Everybody was sharing it, tagging me. You know, y'all gonna see it. I'm gonna put it in the in my thumbnail. But I'm just happy that I accomplished a lot even though I had a son. Because when I got pregnant, like everybody that was like, everybody that believed in me stopped believing in me. Everybody thought my life was over. And I just didn't like that. Like, everybody was so disappointed in me. 
And before I had my son, I wasn't even doing shit. Like, I wasn't doing nothing. I didn't want to do anything for my life. I wasn't going to school. I was skipping class. Like, I was just like a mess. I was all over the place. My son was the one that got me on point. So, yo, I'm still surprised that my picture was even viral this year. I graduated, I graduated high school last year. It was viral last year. It was viral this year. But it wasn't even more vi viral this year. Like, my dad called me. He's like, yo, you know you viral? Da -da -da -da. I'm like, yeah, like, I know that. That picture is the cutest picture ever. And a lot of people got inspired by my picture. And I'm so happy that a lot of y'all, like, were inspired by me graduating high school. You know, with my son. And, like, I'm just so proud of myself. I really am. And that was the biggest accomplishment, like, a lot of people thought that I wasn't going to graduate high school, you know. You have a big mad because I'm unstoppable. Like, talk to me nice. Nah, let me stop. But, um, okay. I was supposed to give birth the last day of school. But I gave birth, like, a week after my due date. And that was summertime. By the time I, yo, perfect timing. Like, I'm so happy that I gave birth, like, around the end of June. Because by the time I had to go back to school, my son was two months old. I went back to school and then I tried to sign. Because the school I went to had a daycare in it. Like every, I tried to go to a school that had a daycare in it. But I was already in a school that had a daycare in it. Because I went to a credit recovery school so I could graduate faster. And my school, like the school I was in at, the, like at that time, they changed the age policy. My son was two months old by the time I wanted to go back to school. And the baby could go to like daycare when he's two months. So I had to transfer schools. I was in Innovation Diploma Plus High School. I had to transfer and I went to Westside. Because my son, like, he started going to daycare there. I went, I transferred to Westside. And they, like, all of a sudden told me that my son can't go to daycare there because it's already packed. I was so tight. I was taking my son to daycare all the way in 59th Street. And Independence High School and I wasn't even that school so I was waking up early in the morning for two months this was for two months I was doing this I was waking up early in the morning taking my son all the way to 59th Street from the Bronx to 59th Street going from 59th Street all the way to 103rd Street back to my school I was so upset and I was like I was so tired I was going to class late but sometimes not even that late like probably like 30 minutes late but still that's kind of like the whole period but at least I was doing it and I was not giving up my mom said like she thought I, I couldn't do it but I was proving everybody wrong like I wanted to prove everybody wrong but I don't care what people gotta say but it's just like you know I was like yeah I could do it I could do it like you know whatever you want to do and whatever you want to accomplish you could do it you just put your mind to it and you could accomplish it no matter what no matter what you're going through it's okay you could do it but anyways by the time that was up, I, like, the two months was up, my son got accepted to the daycare in Westside. I started bringing him. It was easier for me. But that's when I started taking night classes so I could graduate faster so I could get more credits. I, t I started taking night classes, and it was, like, so much work. I was taking, like, I was going to school, then staying after school. I came out at, like, 5, 5.30. I came out of school at 5.30. At almost every day I joined all the sports so I could get gym credits like and everything like I, I just wanted to get out of there I was I was just doing my shit I was on my shit like nobody could tell me nothing because I was on my shit and I'm still on my shit when I was in high school I did not have my family taking care of my son like when I was in school I had to it, like if I didn't have, if I didn't find a daycare, and it's called the Life Center, the daycare that I took my son to, your baby, like if you go to school, you go, you can only put your son in a daycare if you go to school, and your son has to be two months old and up in order to go to that school. I mean, in order to go to that daycare, like a school. In order to go to that daycare, and I forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, and if I didn't find a school with a life center in it, that's the daycare. 
if I didn't find a school with a daycare inside and like got accepted to that school and my son got accepted to the daycare, I would have never went to like I would have never went to high school because my family was not gonna take care of my son for me to go to school. I had to find a way for me like there's many like help like this is New York City. There's welfare. There's so many different ways y'all could receive help. There shouldn't be no reason some of y'all females with kids should give up on anything y'all want to do. If y'all give up, that means y'all don't want to accomplish that. And even though it's hard being a teen mother, you can still do it, like, to be honest. Like, it's a lot of work. I've cried. I've cried so many times. You know, behind behind closed doors, i cried so many times. But, you know, it wasn't going to break me, like, bring me down. It wasn't going to break me down. I would cry and always get back up. And that's what, exactly what y'all need to do. Because nothing, like, I know there's, people are different. But, you know, just stay positive and stay strong. That's all I can say. I want to bring up the conversation of this picture right here. It's a picture of me and my son. My graduation picture. And the picture had went viral. It was viral on Facebook. It was viral on Instagram. And... Like, I seen the so comments because, you know, I always check the comments so just to see what people are saying. And a lot of people are saying rude stuff, you know, judgmental people and things. Like, people are saying they get old, but it's because it's her family is taking care of her son. Or, like, you shouldn't be having a kid this early or this and that. Like, to be honest, I don't care what anybody got to say because at the end of the day, I still graduated high school and I still did what I had to do even with my son. So... People be too busy all up in other people's business. But yeah, look. When I posted, I posted that this was May 4, 2018. I had I have 12,982 likes. And different pages posted it. Okay, that, that was last year. It went viral last year. It was even viral this year. It was way bigger than this, it was way bigger this year than last year, and so many different pages posted it. And there was more pages that posted it. But what I'm trying to say is that you could do anything you want, even with a kid, without a kid. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna keep this video short because you know I don't want you to just hear me talk shit throughout my whole video that's fucking boring but anyways go hit that subscribe button go hit the thumbs up button julissa you ruined my video but i'm gonna keep it going all right so go hit the subscribe button the button the button go hit the subscribe button and go click that thumbs up button all right deuces